downloading a SharePoint file on the click of any button from the Power App sometimes become time burning task. Hey everyone, this is Prashant Chaudhary. I welcome you all to my channel Classic Power App. In this video, we will see how we can download any file stored into the SharePoint folder on the click of any button. Because what happen is that people simply copy the link of the file and using the launch function or from the download function, they want it to download, but the file rather open in a new tab. So it's like we need to download into the local system. I have already created the video across it, but that approach was working very well in the Chrome. But when I test it into the edge in the another browser, it was giving some sort of pop up. So let me just show you if you haven't watched the previous video of mine i'll provide you the link at the top of this video also in this video i'll also show what approach we have completed in the last video and what workaround we have right now okay so let me just take you to my screen let me just move this to my new okay so let me open one canvas application. Let's say download file. Create. On the other hand, I have a SharePoint site. In the SharePoint site, I have a document library, documents, and here I have a Excel file, book.1. Let me just open this file for you. This file contains two sheets. In on the one sheet, it's having some sort of table. And have to some data what i need to do i need to download this file on the click of any button from my power app so in the last video what we have done i simply come to this my file and in the details i got the folder path hope you understand the difference between the folder path and the link okay so i'm just copying the path of that coming to my power app adding one button and on the launch function or you can also use the download if i paste it directly and run this so here you can see it has downloaded the file to my local system let me open this file and see so here you can see I have this data so it means the file is downloaded to my local system but the concern is if i try to use the same approach into the edge so let me just open this into my edge browser and control v i'm opening the same application into my edge close this so it's opening my application for you okay again i'll do the same maybe adding a button and coming to my sharepoint coming also copying the folder path one more time it's just taking a little time to load do some configuration at the back end so let it load fully okay so i on this button let me use this launch and paste it here and now if i just try to play this here i can see i got some sort of pop-up okay it means my file is not downloaded the workaround i can do either i can do some type of configurations to my edge browser okay but it is not possible for you to do the configuration at every time in your client system okay so we have one more workaround that will work and it will work in both the systems like in the edge browser or in the chrome so that workaround is like on the click of this button we would need this thing 
we'll simply copy this line i'll provide you this line into the my description okay paste it here and before the slash we need to use this my site name okay now if i just try to see i have configured this with the let's say this is my site url okay and then i have the folder path okay so this is the syntax which i'm using here you can notice we are passing the site url and we are using the page that is used to download any content here you can see the layout is downloaded axpx okay so now if we just play this so here you can see it has downloaded the file for me it means if i use this approach the site url download xpx page and then source url and then again my folder path okay and the complete folder path it contains the site urls with the all folder structure to my file if i pass this into my launch function or to my download both will work let's try with the download okay and go to the play mode one more time and here you can see it has downloaded the file for me now if i try the same approach into my chrome now take i'm just going to my chrome here i'm on my chrome and then i'll use one more button this one i use this for the chrome this one coming back to my edge and copying the same code going to my chrome back and then paste it here and then check it out I guess some we have made some mistake. Let me see one more time. So okay, we have missed the HTTP. Okay, HTTP. And see, it has downloaded the file for me. So it means if we use this approach, it will work in two places. That approach is like if we pass the SharePoint site with the download page axpx is the extension of the sharepoint page layout as download page and then source url this again contains my sharepoint site and my folder path okay and this path you can get directly from the click on the your file with three dots details you have this detail at the bottom and in the details you have this path just copy this from here it's like copy direct link Okay, so you will need the direct link in order to download the food path download the file into your local system okay so that is all in this video like it, in the last video we have simply used this direct path but uh, it was not working in the in the edge so that is the reason we come up with one more little customization that approach and uh, now this approach is working in both the places so thank you all thanks for watching this video and if this approach is still make some issues for you please write in into the comment section so thank you everyone. thank you have a nice day